Well, hey there, lovely people. This is Sean, and I'm at the lovely place. And today, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the MS261C chainsaw, the steel chainsaw. Um, I had mentioned to you that I had had some issues with it uh, in a previous video, and uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an update and share with you what has happened with this uh, saw. Uh, you may remember that I mentioned that it was actually at one of the uh, certified steel uh, dealers uh, in service in the service department for over two months um, when on a previous video when I was uh, doing right after I first got my WR long grapple um, I was down at the uh, the pile of brush and trees and I was cutting trees and uh, pulling out things with that grapple by the way. I love the grapple. It's doing good We're, we're gonna throw some video on here. Hopefully of that grapple uh, in action, but Anyway, I was picking trees up and I was cutting each end off uh, with the with the chainsaw and it was running very rough at the time and uh, Not sure what was going on. So uh, it, it just wasn't it wasn't cutting and the blade or, or the uh, chain was sharp uh, everything seemed to be um, you know and as far as i could tell it was in good working order but it was just running extremely rough and choking out and dying so anyway i took it in they ordered a intake valve for the carburetor or something like that they got that one in they put it on they said it was faulty because it didn't help the problem but that's what they had diagnosed the problem to be turned out after a couple of months of me calling every week or two uh finally uh they pushed forward and they got a steel representative to um, approve a full teardown of the chainsaw. They did do that teardown and they discovered that the actual uh, piston walls were scarred or cylinder walls. Uh, anyway, uh, so bottom line, the engine was ruined. It was just no good. The, instead of, even though this was under warranty and instead of, you know, just giving me a different chainsaw, they wanted to, uh, get an engine on order a motor and they wanted to uh, replace this motor and pretty much a chainsaw is not much more than a motor so uh, that about another week or two went by and I called and I just uh, suggested you know what why don't we just get me a new chainsaw and so I got a call another week later possibly and I was told by the dealer that they were just gonna swap it out and give me a new one so what they did was um, when I went up there to pick it up, uh, they handed me this new steel chainsaw, and of course they put my old bar on it, and uh, which was fine, I thought. Uh, but uh, when I picked up, I, I was asking if there was any paperwork on it or anything at all. They just informed me that the one they swapped it out for was the one that was on the uh, demo rack, or you know, it was the one that that was. Uh, in the store where they have it on display that's the right word the display item so this was the the display ms261c so you know that didn't bother me or anything i mean i'm assuming it hadn't been ran you know it it, it didn't look like there was any issue with that so the chainsaw is running fine however um apparently a lot of what's went wrong with this chainsaw very likely could be my fault um one of you guys sent me a comment on one of my previous chainsaw uh, videos where I sharpened the uh, chain on this with the uh, the two-in-one steel chainsaw sharpener file and uh, the comment he said that this MS261C is absolutely his favorite steel chainsaw it's his go-to but he warned me and this was before you know he obviously didn't know what had happened to my chainsaw but he warned me that if these chains are not sharpened very regularly if they're not always sharp that running this with a dull chain at any point in time will actually burn this engine up um, and i'm assuming it's just the way this technology is designed it's designed to work with a very thoroughly sharpened chain and if you run it with anything but that for any length of time and, and i've not ran i've not put a lot of time on this chainsaw you guys have seen a lot 
of the time that I've actually put on it and it's not been that much but anyway um, I'm guessing maybe it, it well I, I do know that it was not sharp at certain times when I was running it and that's why I went out and bought that sharpener and and tried it out and sh you know created that video for you guys and got it nice and sharp but what's going on now uh, and I may have gotten the bar so hot that and you guys tell me if this is possible or not but can a bar can a bar warp can a chainsaw bar warp is that possible because when I'm cutting down with this chainsaw what's going on is it, the, the saw is cutting at an angle in like this when I cut back up it, it cut, cuts up straight but I'm noticing that it's cutting down at an angle so what I think is going and it did that by the way at the end of the time when I had the previous chainsaw with this same bar and so my best guess is that you know they put this bar back on there and this bar has a little bit of a warp I'll let you see it and we can look together and try to determine if we see any kind of a warpage on this thing I can't I just don't see it looking straight at it let's see but I can certainly tell when I cut I tell you what I'll cut a log for you and you can see what I'm talking about and we'll uh, we'll look at it together and see if uh, if it's noticeable but other than that this one's cutting great and I'm ready to get back to work get a lot of stuff cut and get a lot of stuff moved with the grapple so let's check this thing out and see how she cuts here if you look up that way it blew down at we had a storm a few gosh it's probably been two months ago and this one blew down and that came from the south and uh, so we're gonna take this because it's coming out into the field a little bit and I'm gonna be cutting this into pieces and coming in with the grapple and yanking it out of here but I thought this would be a good one for you guys to see how this bar seems to be cutting down at an angle for me um, Here's the other thing, because it's cutting at an angle, it doesn't want to go through quickly. It's a, it's a very slow process. So what I'm finding myself doing is going down, it's angling, it's kind of bogging it down a little bit, or not bogging it down, but uh, just not wanting to go through. And I'll come under and cut it. And when I come under and cut it up, it cuts really good. So we'll knock this limb off first. So that actually cut better than many of the limbs I've been cutting. I was cutting some bigger trees. If you're looking straight here, I'm coming down, but this kind of angles out this way. It is going over to my left, your right. So uh, I'll cut another cookie here and let's take a look and see what that does. bad on that one but uh, I can feel it myself when when I'm going through and you could you notice maybe when I got about midway through how it didn't want to keep pushing through uh, I'm getting some really good pieces of sawdust you see so we've got us a good sharp blade so it's or, I'm sorry chain so it's not that but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting through this and we'll just keep moving keep trucking
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go on up in the woods and I'm just gonna cut the tree near where it fell, where it broke off. And I've cut here, there, and there, of course, and that limb. I'm gonna come in here with the uh, grapple. I'm gonna get underneath that and try to just pull that straight out of the woods, see if I can back it out. Of course, I'll have to get all this stuff out of the way first. So once I got back here in the woods, what I'm noticing is I'm not really sure where this thing originated from. Let's go back here and look. So this is split. We've got a branch or part of this tree. It must have been like a double trunk tree. We've got one going way out that way and one originating from here that split off of it. So uh, we've got some stuff up in the trees. It, this is going to take some work. And I've got my granddaughter and my daughter coming down here today, so I'm not gonna get all this done. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna start taking off these small limbs because when I start pulling it out that way, I don't need these limbs here catching these other trees. So let's get these knocked off.
Okay, so what we discovered is that I'm gonna need to take some time and cut this into some sections just to get in here to be able to pull some of this out or maybe come in from the side to pick it up and get it out. But uh, that's for another day because my granddaughter just arrived and she's about to get in my buddy seat. And Ann and I, we stacked up a lot of these limbs and uh, we're gonna do a little bit more grapple work with my buddy in the seat and get these in the piles that they need to go in. So uh, enjoy this and I'll just go ahead right now and say, say thank you for being here with me at the lovely place and I hope you'll come back, subscribe and like the video. Talk to you soon, thank you.